Hey there, Brian here at my bench, and I'm getting ready to start my new kit. This one's a little special for me, and, and there's, there's a little bit of a backstory. Back in the late 80s, around 1987, I went through basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky in August. Next to the barracks we were in, there was a motor pool. In that motor pool, there was a bulldozer, and it was military green. Also looked like it had uh, was probably getting pretty close to the end of its life cycle there. And one afternoon, we actually got to get up close to it. And I, I got up and crawled around on it um, when we were supposed to be picking up trash. But anyway, um, the kit I've got is yellow. Uh, it's a the AMT uh, construction bulldozer. The trick here is going to be the plastic in this kit is all yellow and in order to do this as green I don't know how much assembly I can do before I start creating nooks and crannies that uh, I'll have a hard time getting the paint into so we'll kind of have to see uh, what kind of challenges that brings um, but um, other than that we're going to try to do I'm going to try to recreate the bulldozer uh, from my memory and we'll just see how that goes um, and with that, uh, let's open up the box and see what we get. Looks like we've got some chassis parts here. Yeah, we're gonna need to wash these sprues. These things are got stuff all over them. Oh, there's some text on here. What is this? It says 2018 round two, made in China. So this is from a 2018 kit. Just some loose parts in here. Again, there's stuff all over them. Okay. Engine parts. Looks like intake manifold, exhaust manifold, water pump. We need to do some, create some, uh, storage for parts sorting and separation and we've got okay collect parts for the uh, for the blade up front and there would be the blade okay Looks like transfer gears and whatnot. But again, yeah, there's, I don't know if you can see it, there is gunk all over these. There's the treads, and I think we're going to leave those in the bag for now. And this mysterious black stuff here, I don't know what that is. So. Those, those look like they just snapped together. So that ought to be that ought to be an easy one to work with. And the chrome. So again, all we're gonna have to uh, remove all the chrome off of the uh, these plastic parts. Yeah, that ought to be interesting. Looks like looks like they're yellow underneath too. So. There's one loose in there, so I think we're going to just leave it, uh, leave those in the bag for the moment as well. All right, so there we go. Let's uh, let's get organized so we can get. Uh, ah, we're going to wash everything first, so let me do that, and then I'll, I'll come back. All right, so there we go. We've got everything, all the sprues, all the loose pieces. 
have been washed. They do, and they, they visibly look better. There's, there was like little brown spots on them. So, there we go. Can move this thing around where we want it. Where are you? both you and I can see what we're doing. So, get that down. Got a new knife, hobby knife. Got a new hobby knife with a new blade in it. And let's see here. We're going to get a uh, file, some sandpaper, and a uh, diamond file. Or no, I think we're going to use that one right there. So that'd be the valve cover. No, that would not. That would be the head. That'd be the head. And then the valve cover set on top of that. While we've got the, uh, while I'm putting the engine together, I've got those chrome bits and bleach. I didn't have any, I didn't have anything better on in the house at the moment, any better degreaser. Um, so we're going to let that soak a while and see how it does. It's already started to remove some, but in some places, but it's not coming off in up. It's not coming off in others. So I don't know. We may have to try a different. Try different tact on that, but yeah, let's see where that goes to. This tab here is supposed to fit into a slot there, but it is not going in there. So that's going to get surface glued on there. And no, I kind of want to key it into place. We need to make the hole bigger. Yeah, that fits better. And then we'll have to glue that and, and then clamp, glue and clamp that. So I'm sure some of you uh, more seasoned model builders have noticed I'm using uh, uh, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Hobby's Mr. Cement S, which is for their uh, thin. It's a, supposedly an equivalent to the Tamiya Extra Thin. Uh, it works well, but it's also always a lot less expensive than the Tamiya that. I was just I'm not was not willing to pay both product and shipping and everything and, and and to get that when I was able to get this and then a fresh bottle of it as well for the same price it would have taken me to order a single bottle of the Tamiya. So got that far and cleaned up a bit and now we're going to move on to some more engine assembly so we're gonna move to the we're gonna get the starter u-joint oil pump and get the uh, the torque converter and flywheel um, uh, torque converter and flywheel assembly there okay we gotta find those parts cut everything off and put it in here the Numbers are not on the parts on the sprue. They're actually So this is this is unique. I haven't well, I don't know about unique. I've not run into it before uh, This kit is that uh, the engine parts are numbered But their numbers are only on this printout on the back of the box 
Um, so you have to t visually take the image here and go to the sprue and find the part there. But I I've already cut them all off, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I think that's maybe about as far as I can go before I have to uh, paint all this stuff. Or at least get it primed anyway. Actually primed and painted because when you come back to paint, the uh, you need to be able to cover the primer. Okay. So we need to set up the paint booth and actually go through the entire kit to see what uh, needs to be painted. So the chrome removal didn't do real well. It came off of some of it, but not all of it. It's still wet from the where I rinsed it off. So let me do some. We have to figure out a different way of doing that. I need a different. I don't have the right product in the house. I believe I may be able to um, spray can primer should be able to take care of that though. That it's all going to have to be primed. So I've already messed up. The uh, I should have glued the frame together before I primed it, and I suspect in my um, desire to hide all the yellow completely so that the Military green is the only thing you see. I've uh, may have jumped a, jumped ahead too far, so I'm going to go back and re-examine the kit and the instructions, and see how many more sub assemblies I need to put together before I prime them. Like, so I'm going to have to come back and got to fix this one. And yeah, I think those there's two of those I believe are supposed to go on the frame somewhere. So we got that to do. Uh, yeah, so just need to uh, fix that. Here we go. There's the sharp one. I keep a um, this curved blade, number 10 blade, and I believe that's an 11. It's just a, a pointed exacto blade i like to keep one of each on the on the bench this one is pretty dull i would not do that with this one but this one is just for scraping and poking and that sort of thing this is for trimming and cutting like that little spot right there there's our engine Primed up a little bit, and we got parts here. That, that. Okay. Quite icky looking. Some of this stuff. Primer. It's on there enough to where we can get the next coat of paint to stick to it. That glue's there, but I need to put this thing here first because that one of those connects to the other one. Yeah, well, that's tiny. Do I have that? Would work. Okay.
Well, that's ugly looking, but that's okay. down in there right there's an accelerator in there I'm assuming these are the same thing and one won't react with the other got to do a little maintenance on this model Let's see here don't need all of that flimsiness right there lose that much this morning's challenge is these uh, where are these pe mm -hmm. The, these pieces didn't exactly go together and we've got a little bit of a gap right there and uh, but I've checked it out and we're able to that we can we that can be forced into place it's just it's not glued that may be the problem it's not glued but we'll see if we can't get that because I'm pretty certain that out of place there may block um, some assembly in the future so let's see we're going to do this with some super glue and accelerator but I need to get that in place where it will stay there until I can get the glue and accelerator on it so I need to do a little rigging here so I need to hold that in place. What could we do here? Let me see. That might work. I need something to kind of poke down in there. See what happens. Put that there. Tighten that up on there. You know, we may be onto something here. Okay. Grab the glue. Hold still. Thin super glue and let that soak into place and hit it. Give that just another minute to dry. I discovered, I mentioned this in a previous video, but the uh, Insta set is uh, 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 or a kicker for these super glues. It's not always exactly instant. It's actually, it takes a, uh, uh, there is a period of time between when the chemical hits the glue and the glue actually sets. Now, it's quick, mind you, but 
it's not totally instant. Okay, there we go. Somebody asked me uh, what this, where I got this brush. Uh, it's actually a gift, but it's simply a uh, badger hair and a uh, stopper off of a, uh, a bottom of a cane. So, and some glue. And it was supposed to be a shaving brush, but I've never really used it for that, and it works perfectly for this. Now why don't that match up? Not glued yet, but does that look like that lines up? That's not pretty. this one in place hold it hopefully without breaking anything else let's get some super glue in there get up here where everybody can see it Hold that ugliness for a minute. Yeah, so we're not going to come back with that. We're going to be, uh, we're going to come back with surface primer. This is a acrylic polyurethane. <clears throat> okay, well. The bench is out of control. We need to we gotta pause and do a quick reset here. Maybe not pause the camera, but pause the construction. <clears throat> 